Hi guys, we're live at our West Bountiful Farm and we're gonna go take a look at our fig orchard. So Pumpkin Boy is really excited to be out here right now, as you can see. And this hoop house has withstood a lot of winds. And we're gonna go take a look and see how our figs are doing right now. All right, so we've had a lot of winds here. So we're gonna go inside and see how this thing held up to 75 mile an hour winds a week ago. Okay, as we go in here, the greenhouse held up okay to the winds. And we see these little tip buds on top. We dig down, it's green right there. So we're very happy to see that. We continue on in here. We see the top is nice and green. We carve down into the wood with our thumb and it's green. We're really happy with that. So by doing that, we are going to get two crops of figs, one in the spring and one in the fall. This is a really huge fig tree. And these come from fig enthusiast, Ryan Maxwell. So notice it's green right there. We're very happy. And it's green right there. Big, beautiful fig trees here in West Bountiful. If you take a look at this tree, this is our biggest tree. Take a look at that trunk. It goes way up to the top of the hoop house. These are only two year old trees. Ryan Maxwell, West Jordan sells really nice trees. And if you listen really hard, you can hear pumpkin boys missing me. All right, so I'm gonna have to leave here pretty quick because pumpkin boy needs to go to the vet. I'm gonna have his teeth looked at and he's missing me real bad. Let's take one more look at this fig tree. We better get on our way. Okay, so this tree goes way up in the air. Green top, punch it with our thumb and it's green. So very good signs, not a good sign that the wind keeps blowing the openings open. So we need to close those up so we get some heat in here and get these fig trees off to a good start. For those of you wanting to build a greenhouse, winds are absolute heck on these greenhouses. They blow them, they blow them, and they try to blow them apart. It's really hard to deal with. So if you want to build a greenhouse, you get that thing ready for the wind because the winds are really hard. So the clamps that we put to hold the plastic doors on, well, they're no match for a 60, 70 mile an hour canyon wind. So that's a little bit disappointing. As we take a look over here, we can see our plum trees are starting to bloom. Really nice, excited to see some plums. These are elephant heart plums, really good. People love these at the farmer's markets. Pumpkin! Our new little boy, Pumpkin Boy, would like to say hi to all of you. And he is so happy to be in these videos. We lost our doggy Jigs a couple weeks ago. So we have Pumpkin Boy, he needs to go to the vet. We're gonna have his teeth looked at. Okay, out here, my dad and I planted a lot of fruit trees. There's some really nice honey crisp apples out here. Really excited, they bloom every other year. They're gonna bloom a lot this year and we're gonna have tons of Honeycrisp apples. Humongous pear tree over there is gonna produce another every other year tree. We have cherry trees, there's peach trees, lots of plum trees. Real fun farm here in West Bountiful, Utah. So it is only the late part of March and we're starting to get a lot of blooms on these trees. We don't want these blooms to open this fast. We want these blooms to wait. Want them to wait till as close as May as we can because that's when the last frost date is. So that's why we put wood chips around our trees at the other properties. The wood chips keep the soil colder and keep them from blooming too early. Really neat trick and we'll continue to show you guys these cool tricks as we make these videos. Here's the original greenhouse that we built out of all the greenhouses. My dad and I built this with his brother, Uncle John Scott. And originally he had an artesian, not quite an artesian well, but a trickle well in here. And the trickle well would actually heat the greenhouse. The water coming out would always be 60 degrees and that would heat the greenhouse. My dad taught me that. We start all our transplants in here. We grew things like figs, early tomatoes, really nice, well-built A-frame greenhouse. A-frame greenhouses are my favorite. I do not like PVC. And I'll tell you that in the comments. You just ask, why do you not like PVC greenhouses, Chad? And I'll tell you why. But a beautiful greenhouse right here. You need not. No, now you need to watch that. Yeah, you need to watch that. 
And there is our little duck marshmallow. Okay, now we're on our way back out to fix the rip plastic from the 70 mile an hour gusts of east winds we had. In this area right here, we want to put into a big strawberry patch. So we want to get rid of this grass. We have a really, really nice big variety of strawberries that'll grow in Utah and put this whole entire area into a ground cover of strawberries that we'll never have to mow and is very low maintenance. Okay, so we have some rips in the plastic. We will take the plastic and roll it up like this. Then we're gonna poke it with a knife and we're gonna tie some twine around it. Now I can't do this and film this video, so I'm gonna do it and show you how well it works. Okay, so we sewed some areas up that were ripped. We bunched the plastic up, we cut some holes, and now it's nice and put back together. We also sewed up here and then around. Okay, so around this little area, we also sewed. Let's go take a look and see how this turned out. This will help. This is just a temporary fix, but it'll work for now. Up here, we had a big rip and notice we sewed it. Now this sewing will hold pretty good. This held up to the 75 mile an hour winds we had. And then when we need to, we'll throw another sheet of plastic on it in the future. But that will get it through this year. Live in West Bountiful, beautiful West Bountiful, Utah. Let's take a look at the mountains. Let's go above the V mountain. <laughs> Still a lot of snow on top of the mountains. Let's go towards Mueller Park. And those trees are in the way, but beautiful Mueller Park is back there. Beautiful city, Bountiful, Utah. And the grass is ready to start mowing. Let's turn this into a strawberry patch.